Good morning, everyone. My name is Mrs. Jefferson, and this is my wonderful third grade class. And today we will be learning SOL 315 Geometry. In this lesson, the students will be able to identify and draw actual line seg segments, rays. And so they're going to have a fun way of being able to introduce this lesson. So today, friends, I want you to be able to stand up. You have your vocabulary day one sheet in front of you. And as we are learning these, we're going to go ahead on and be able to draw them out. But we're going to use uh, demonstration to be able to do that. So if you look on your paper, we have a line. And afterwards, we'll be able to play a fun bingo game. Okay? So a line, if you look, it says it's a collection of points going on and on in both directions. And it has no end points. So what I want you to do is extend your arms out just like this. And my hands are pointing out because my line is going on and on. It does not have any input. So this is what a line would look like. And then on your paper, I want you to go ahead on and draw your line. I will go over here and draw the line. So you jot down your line on your vocabulary sheet. And we want our line to look like this. Our hands. Point it off to the side is our line, and those are our arrows that are located right here. So again, you're learning about this and being able to draw it out as you go on. Great job, you guys. Our next thing that we have on there is a line segment. And it says a line segment is a line having two endpoints. So I'm going to demonstrate what that looks like, and you guys are going to go with me. Our hands are straight out. This is a line. But I'm now making a line segment. And I'm going to make this just like this. Now, this is an endpoint, and this is an endpoint. That's called a line segment. Can you turn and talk to your neighbor and tell them what this is called? A line, a line segment. Great job, you guys. Now we're going to go ahead on and jot it down onto our paper. A line segment. Sorry. Great job. Make sure you're writing it down. And this is what you should have on, sorry friends, on your paper, a line segment. Great job. Wonderful, perfect. Our very next vocabulary that we're going to be learning about is called a point. And a point, it says a location in space. And this is the little crafty way that we create a point. We take our fist and we go like this and we're making a point. It makes a little dot. So this is called a point. Okay, go ahead on and turn, turn, talk to your neighbor and tell them what this is called. What is this shape called? A point. Okay. And on your paper, you should be drawing a circle that kind of looks like this. And we're going to call that a point. Wow, you guys are really able to draw that out. Good job. Make sure you're drawing down your point. Great job, you guys. Our next one that we have is called an endpoint. A point at the end of a line segment or a ray. This is called an endpoint. Now, we're going to do it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like so you can understand. This is called a ray. Can someone find the word ray on their paper? Ray. Where do you see ray? Okay, that's what a ray looks like. Let's go ahead on and demonstrate a ray. I'm going to make an endpoint and I'm going to make my line go this way. This is what a ray looks like. Now, the word that we were doing before is called a what? Endpoint. The endpoint is this part, like where I'm balling up my fist, at the end of my ray. This is called a ray, but the point here is called an endpoint. Yeah. 
right? So here, this is an endpoint. So what I want you to do is draw a ray on your paper where it says endpoint, and then you're going to draw a line that looks like this, a little arrow, and you're going to say endpoint. Okay? Endpoint. Also on our vocabulary sheet, it says a point at the end of a line segment or a ray. So this is also called a what? End point. And then this would be an end point. You guys are doing a great job. Awesome. Okay. So our very next one, Jesse, we said we've already done an endpoint. We've been able to do a ray. We have something called an angle. An angle says formed when two line segments or rays meet at a common point. Again, we're doing an angle. So an angle would be here where they meet. Okay? And we can have an angle. And we also call these the what? Corners, as we're learning. An angle is formed. This is my corner, and I have this line and this line, and they meet and they make an angle. This would be considered a right angle, denoted by this box. We also have other angles, acute angles, which are small. We call them acute angles because they're really cute and small. And then we have angles that are more than 90 degrees, and they're called obtuse angles. But angles are when two line segments meet at an end point. Okay? So our very next thing we have, again, a right angle. Which one did I say was a right angle? An angle that has a 90 degree and makes a square corner. This is a what? Right angle. Okay, let's make a right angle. It looks sort of like an L. My hand is going to go straight up in the air, and then my arm is going to go just out like this. This is a what? Right angle. Make it straight up in the air. It needs to kind of look like an L. Okay, this is called a right angle. Make your arms go way up high, and then out like this. It should kind of look like an L. So if I'm helping you out, yours is straight up like this. Oh, that looks like, that looks like it. Your head straight up. Awesome. Good job. That's a right angle. Okay? If I make it little like this, let's make it small. It's going to be an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. If I'm straight up like this, it's a 90 degree angle. And if I go way up like this, it's called an obtuse angle, which is more than 90 degrees. So finishing up, you guys, we have our right angle, which looks like an L. Do you make an L? It looks like an L. And then we have something called the vertex. We talked about this last week. Who thinks they know or remember what our vertex is? What is our vertex? Lakeith. So right here is my vertex. I have a vertex here. If we have a Square. Remember, we call these our corners, but we also call them the vertex. vertex. So these would be a vertex. Okay? I can have a vertex on a triangle. I can have a vertex on a rectangle. So you're making sure that you get that written down. Now, what we're going to do, you guys, we're going to take our vocabulary. We will have our sheets that we've actually been able to do here. We're going to do one more thing. And then we're going to be able to play a quick, fun bingo game. But you have the sheet here if you need extra help to help you out. Our last vocabulary word that we're going to be talking about are called parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that go like this, and they keep going on and on and on, on and on and on, without what? Touching. So I can keep them going far and far. So let's like, make some parallel lines, lines that can keep going without touching. Okay? If I kept them stretched out going and going, 
they would not touch, they would not meet. Those are called parallel lines. Now, on your paper, your bingo sheet, there is one thing that we have not talked about, and that is going to be intersecting lines. So it looks like a cross, intersecting lines. So do like this. We have this. These are called lines that are intersecting. Parallel, they go on and on without touching. And what? Intersecting or perpendicular what? Lines. Okay? So I'm going to get ready to do bingo with you guys. And you can have a seat. You should have your chips in front of you. All right, class. We're going to play a quick, fun bingo game. And if you get five in a row, horizontally, diagonally, or vertical, and vertical is when it's straight up and down, diagonal, diagonal, diagonal is when it's across, and then when we have horizontal, it's like sort of like if you're laying flat on the ground, okay? So, a line with a start point but no end point. A line with a start point but no end point. And a start point an uh, end point here, and then I have what? What do we think that is? You're going to put it on your board. Find it on here. I might do these ones. Another way of being able to say that is a part of a line that has one end point and continues on and on in one direction. And if you need your sheet because we just introduced this you can always refer back to your seat your sheet to help you out okay the next thing that we have it says a collection of points going on and on in both directions and has no end point a collection of points going on and on in both directions and has no end point. Okay? A point at the end of a line segment or a ray. A point at the end of a line segment or a ray. Okay. These are lines that are always the same distance apart and never touching. These are lines that are always the same distance apart and never touching. that has three sides, three endpoints, and well, this one just, just has three sides and three endpoints, or maybe three corners. This is a shape that has three sides, three endpoints, or three corners. All right, our next one. We have this forms when two line segments or rays meet at a common point. All right, you guys, and based on time, we won't be able to complete our bingo but we always take it and then we extend it into our stations and then you and some, your partners will be able to work together we'll, where one person will be able to have like the answer key and then some of you and someone will be the caller. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and do a quick wrap up, an exit ticket to just see what you guys have learned. So just leave your bingo pieces on your table and we'll be able to move on and have that put into a station. 
Raise your hand if you think you would love that to be able to be placed in a station where you guys are having an opportunity to learn that way. That's super amazing. Sounds like you guys would love to be able to do that. And we'll be able to continue with it. So that you now understand how this will be able to go. Now I'm going to give you an exit ticket where it says lines raise and line segments. And you're going to just do this front part. The back part will be where you go to a station. What I'm going to do is pass these out and then explain to you what you need to do. This is going to help me to determine what you have picked up from today and what else we might need to work on. So I don't want you to write it all the way out for time. I just want you to put an L if it's a line. A line segment, you're going to put LS. And if it's a ray, you're going to put an R. And you're just labeling them. And then right after the bottom part, it says match each vocabulary word to the left with the definition on the right. You have a line, a line segment, and a ray. Javion, go ahead and get started. Good job. Great job. Okay, you can refer back that, to that if you need to. What is this called? Because mm -hmm. we're just learning it. It's intro, so you're okay. So now you're going to write Ray. What is this one? So remember we did this? Think about it looks like this. These are my arrows. Yep, that's a line. And this one is a what? Ray. And then this is my line segment. Okay? Kind of remember back. You guys, think back to what we did when we were standing up to. That kind of will help you out. You're only doing the you're only doing this side, the other side is going to be your station work. So what you have notes too, don't forget, because it's intro and I want don't want to stress you. Well what is this called? And if you refer back because it helps you remember, what is that called? Well this one this part right here is the end point. So remember I put an arrow when I drew it? This is the end point. Which one is the ray? Okay, this is a line segment. So look how I did it on the board. Your ray, that one is a ray. I'll have to go back and put that. But this is a ray, friend. You're going to do this. You make a point and you make an arrow. So erase this one because this is the same thing as this. That's your line segment. So erase that one. Okay? So a ray looks like that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. And we here at Ward are... Ward